Hi, this is David from phonebluff.com and today I'm going to be doing a how-to video on how to delete a stock app for Android. You're going to need two things in order to be able to do this. One is root permissions on your phone and two is root explorer. And uh, you can see the logo for root explorer is right over here. I already have it on my phone. You can download it from the Android market. And uh, like I said, you do need to have root in order to be able to use root explorer. The app I'm going to be deleting today is going to be the web browser, the stock uh, Samsung web browser that they load on here. Um, you can see the app, it's working, you know, and uh, you can also see that I have the Dolphin browser installed. That's the one I actually use. I never use this one, so for me, there's no point to even have it. So that's why I'm going to delete it. Um, and you can delete any app you want. It could be the browser like I'm doing or things like contacts or calculator if you have like an aftermarket calculator and you want to use that as your only one and you don't need the other one, you can just delete the stock one. So with that said, let's go into how to do it. So uh, you're going to open up Root Explorer. And uh, from Root Explorer, you want to make sure you're at the uh, root folder of your phone. It's going to look like that on the top bar, just a slash. That means you're at the root. If there's just something after it, you're in a folder. So you want to back out of it until you get to the very root. And from here, you're going to go to the system file. And the system file or folder, it's not this one that's SYS, it's the one that actually full on says system, so right there. And um, from here, you're going to find the app folder. That's where all your um, apps are stored, so for mine it's on the very bottom. And you can see all my APKs are right over here. The, the ones that I've installed from the market are the ones that came preloaded on the phone. And um, the browser's right here. so you long press on it and you get the pop-up menu. Now you could delete it, but I don't recommend deleting it because because if you delete it and something goes wrong or later you find out that you needed it, the only way you'll get it back is doing a hard reset. So that's definitely something you'd wanna avoid. So what I recommend doing is actually hitting move. As long as you move the APK out of the system file, out of the uh, system app folder, you'll or it'll go off your phone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it to my SD card. I already made a folder on my SD card. I think I called it uh, Backup Apps, there you go. And I'm just gonna paste it right over here. So you see the browser ABK has been uh, moved over here. And um, I hit home, go in here, and now you can see it's gone. It's no longer an app installed on my phone. If I ever want to replace it, I could just do the, you know, vice versa. I could go to my SD card and paste it right back into the system app folder. But now when I click this guy, it's automatically my default because I don't have another option. Um, but you could use this process for any app. Like I said, you could do it for the calculator, the browser, the alarm clock. It doesn't really matter. Um, same, the same step-by-step uh, -step process will work for you. Um, and that's it for me. Uh, this is David from phonebluff.com and don't forget to check out phonebluff.com for the latest cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos and also the full uh, written article on how to delete an app for Android.